How do I look? You look good. What do you mean I look good? Do I need a hat? You always look good. No, you're fine. You really mean it? Of course. Watch out, bud. Looks like we got some damage. That's a bummer. Let's see what we can do to fix it. we finished what a pain in the butt to build um, but it actually came out really well it's got a little window here we're gonna spruce it up too we're gonna paint the outside maybe paint the inside maybe add a skylight something but that's the outhouse I think we're gonna do a plywood floor uh, yeah not too bad I actually I really like it. it's perfect there's the cabin. They'll walk out and just do their business. So we're doing pine shavings. Um, I'll have a maybe a little table or something on the side there where they just scoop the pine shavings in there. Um, yeah, and I might have like a little table, tiny thing here and a mirror. Who knows, but I think it came out really good. What'd you do? Oh. Did you touch the paint? Uh oh. Uh oh. Mama's spilling. Oh, thank you for helping. Oh, Mama. Wet. Wet.
fix it. So we're going to cut this screen and we're going to fold it uh, in the vent and then we're just going to stuff the vent right inside with the screen kind of stuffed in and that should hold it in place so that we don't have any mosquitoes coming into the outhouse. I push and you push. A little harder just to be sure. On this side. Okay. Wait, top. Yep. Yeah, okay. It worked. In. Sweet. Mm. Yep, that worked too. Originally we put down this slate tile, uh, which is a lighter color, but we only had 12 in the house. And I tried to get another box at the store. They didn't have any more, so we had to go with a darker one. So we ripped up those other 12 tiles. I'm gonna put the darker one. It's the same concept, peel and stick. And then we're just gonna cut some of the pieces with a razor knife to fit in the sides. So while he's doing the floors, I'm going to fill these huge gaps here with this plastic wood. So we've got some there, there, and there too. Alright, so we finished the floor. Looks pretty good, pretty solid. It's nice, be easy to clean. I kind of like the lighter one better, but it's an outhouse, so it can't be too, you know, picky. Those are drying, those holes, and then I'm gonna paint them after they dry. I'll put the toilet back in there. I found this piece of furniture, I think it's some sort of wine rack or something, at Salvation Army for 99 cents. And this is gonna be the table in the outhouse. We're gonna put wood on top there, and then on top here and on the bottom there for shelving. And then I'm gonna paint it the same color as I painted the trim on the windows and the inside of the door. Now it's all together. I've got my little shelves there and I just have to paint it. Not too bad for 99 cents. I'm not really gonna sand or prime this or anything because it's just for the outhouse and I really just don't think it needs to be done. I'm sure it will be fine. This paint is really thick. It's a scuff defense. I don't know. From Bear. Alright guys, here is the final reveal of the Keter Manor 4x6 shed that we transformed into an outhouse for our cabin. Eventually, we are going to put some string lights on the outside so at night you can see. There it is. 
ta-da. We've got a little light here. A mirror. There's that little thingy I painted earlier. Dry shampoo, sanitizer, wipes. Toilet paper holder. We're doing the pine shavings, so I have a whole bucket here. Pine shavings, and then I'm gonna put a little trash can there. And that is about it. We are super impressed with the shed, and it it's perfect for what we need it for. So, yeah. <laughs>